Hey guys, this is the Tuninator, and this is part 70 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. So I don't know why I'm having a horrible FPS drop right now, but that's really kind of alarming. Let's go outside see if it gets any better. Hmm, huh, that's not good. Weird. Yeah, it's totally lagging right now. It's, it's been fine for the past couple of videos. That's very bizarre. It's like I, I haven't added in any texture packs or anything. I'm putting on anything that would lag the game, so I don't know why it'd be slower. Huh. It's, it's still running. Alright, sorry for the little jump there. Uh, I'm not really sure why it's a bit more laggy right now, but it is what it is, I suppose. Anyways, we're going to need to go talk to the stupid person about the ants. And then, uh... Hanger, where's the, uh... Where's the ant person, actually? Hold on. Now let's go forget what the person over here is. Uh, Hangar 6 and I know you can talk to Jack for the uh, the stupid, you know, go creep on the woman at the ranch form. And that's just bizarre. And I do not want to do that. I mean, is she down here by the entrance? Actually, I think she might be. I forget her name. It's the woman in the combat armor. Is she going to well, the ants? And those ants suck. And yes, I do know that you can get some that one-hit kills them, but you still have to go through. And it's just it's a pain in the ass. Quite frankly. in general. So yeah, people do want me to uh, do some uh, mod quests and side quests, so I will be sure to do that, rest assured. Those will not be neglected. Also, I do have plans eventually, well not eventually, but I want to do uh, some kind of joystick. I haven't played through Free Space th uh, 2 in a while, so I really want to do uh, a play through that, which would not affect the amount of videos I put up for this in any way. I might just, if I'm dicking around in Free Space, I might just record it as all. Is your name Ace? I feel like that might be your name. But yeah, anyways, uh, that um, I think I might do because I really want to play that game again. And I figured I might as well record it too, so as to uh, educate all the poor people unfortunate enough to never have played that amazing, amazing game. So it is truly one of the best. Alright, let's go up here, talk to her, go blow up the ants. Fun stuff. Not really, haha. I'll recoil. Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire yeah, on thanks, you. Yeah, thanks, guys. It means a These lot. These are extraordinary privileges. Yes, Don't you have the privilege them. not to be shot at for existing. Thank you. Uh, you have a bug problem. Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. Yeah, how'd that I happen? I led a if team down to exterminate them, cannons. but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. I can handle a few ants? Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. Yeah, cry about it. Uh, one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit yeah, by a flamethrower. Yeah, they explode. Power. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Yeah, yeah energy weapons blow okay. them up because you know Just energy weapons weren't bad enough shots. in this game already. We Loyal have to fuck them over more. Kind of weapon to use against That's them. really, really just Maybe great, you guys. Really. Let's make that friggin' enemies blow up so long as you don't use the most powerful weapons in the game. Yeah, that that's good plan. Good plan. Yeah, very sorry for the constant bitterness uh, towards Obsidian for the state of energy weapons, but they were they were so bad when this game launched, like. I would try to go through Vault 34 with energy weapons, with a plasma rifle, and I ended up, you know, ran out of ammo, like, I had, I went with, like, 300 microfusion cells, ran out of ammo, just had to hide behind, or behind Veronica for, like, the, the last half of the thing, which was not fun at all. So, yeah, that that's why I have such a tendency to just bitch and moan about energy weapons, because I had to suffer through all of that crap. Watch plasma rifle bounce off everything. 
and basically just rely on Veronica to survive, which did uh, endear her to me greatly, because she saved my life again and again and again and again and again. But when a laser rifle can't even damage a protectron, like that, that's just that's just sad. Come on. Good work with those solar arrays. Thanks, old guy. Weapon to fight ants, please. Yes, my do sex machina. I started building a sonic emitter that might do the trick, but it's useless without knowing the exact frequency. I think I can do a science check ants. here. Yep, uh, any signal over 22,000 hertz at 150 or more decibels, blah blah blah, techno babble. Hot damn, you're right. It's a matter of boosting across those thresholds, not exact amplitude. You're smarter than you look. Thanks. Just so happens I was testing it at 24,000 hertz, so it should be good to go. Place it near their nest and cross your fingers. Signal's too high for people to hear, so no harm done. But it might make you feel sick to your stomach. Huh. <laughs> awesome. I think I just go over this way, was it? Uh, uh it must be here. Yeah. It's are just a huge pain in the ass. They will start blowing up immediately because, unfortunately, Veronica and Willow are not smart enough to stay away from them. <laughs> Especially, uh, Veronica does not do well with these ants. <laughs> running up to them and punching them in the face is literally the last thing you ever want to do against these enemies. So, yeah. Doing this on my unarmed character was a lot of fun. Had, had a good time with that. Good times. Uh, generator room keys are right over here, I think. Uh, and here we are. Oh, thank God Willow has a gun, and that would have gone very poorly for us. Anything worthwhile? Hmm. Missile, that's always useful since they don't weigh anything. And you can sell them for a decent amount. Okay, where are the mounds? Uh, right over there. That kills all of them, so that's a good idea to do. If I can stay far enough ahead of Veronica and Willow, I can knock it blown up, or most just Veronica. Willow apparently is smart enough for a quick save. Yes, I have not been doing that enough as of late. Very bad habit. Yeah, that trips off the thing. Sonic Emitter 1. Oh, I can do it on one mount, okay. Let's go check that then. Where did I put that? I already lost them here. Uh, yep, there we go. Okie dokie. Oh, that's nice. So now we go. Oh, alright. Now we just have to go trip the other generator. And we should be good to go. Did, oh my god, did I run right past down? Yeah, I totally did, didn't I? This is why uh, talking and playing games at the same time makes you dumb. Alrighty, uh, is that the thing? Or... Yeah, I'm, I'm good, okay. That oh, wasn't so bad. Which, I mean, wasn't really bad at all. But, uh... Well, can I just, yeah, I'll just fast travel back to her. <laughs> Not far, but I honestly don't have the patience 
to just run around this base a million times because it gets to be so annoying. Main quest in general are just to drag most of the time, which is unfortunate. Oh, I'm trying to think. Uh, I enjoyed part of Fall 3's main quest. Uh, Tranquility Lane was really awesome. Uh, what else was good? I thought that the final part was, was pretty nice. You know, the whole vault, vault 87 thing was nice. Uh, the final, oh yeah, the final run up to Project Purity was awesome. Uh, the battle for Hoover Dam wasn't bad, but was not quite as good as that, which is a shame. I feel like uh, if they didn't have so much engine limitations, it, it could have been really epic, but as it is, they, they can only have so many guys spawn in at once, especially since it has to be built with a console in mind. So that, that's a big problem. I guess consoles just can't support nearly as much. I see the power's back on. The ants are all dead? Yep. Safe to go down there. Maybe Pearl is right about you. Because I don't know how you pulled that off. Magic. I'll tell Loyal to send sides. someone down to clear out the eggs and repair the generators. Good work. Thank you, Quell. Am I good enough to do the... Um, I think that might be enough. Uh, let me go talk to Pearl again. So I know I did... I Last time, I, I'm almost certain I just did the... Uh, the history thing, uh, Raquel and Loyal, and that was enough, but I could be wrong. Because, uh, you might have to get idolized. Although, I think, no, you get idolized as you bring the bomber back. So, yeah, maybe, I, I don't quite remember, to be honest. I think that might be all of it. Uh, there's Pearl. How is your visit with us going, stranger? Ooh, <laughs> sync malfunction. What do people have to say about me? More and more, I hear my people saying good things about you. God damn it. Don't get blown up. Who else do I... If I have to help with Jack with his freaking thing, I swear to God, I will not be pleased. Who's left? What? Who's left to help? Didn't I already? I already did this guy. Didn't I? what? Oh, this. Oh, right. The the schoolhouse. Forget about that. I am La Fantoma. I will fly to the side of injustice. Okay. Oh, and they have pit boys, huh? Charisma. All oh, right. Forget. You can just interact with the kids. Oh, mighty Fantoma. I hope one day I can fight for the forces of good by your side. Yes. It has been a long time since La Fantoma had a good sidekick. Yep, I'm totally your sidekick, kid. That, that, that's really what's going on here. Oh, where are the rest of them? Just to be able to suck up to a whole bunch of them. What? I forgot about that. I don't know how you survived the bombardment. That's incredible. Kind of a badass. Uh, one of the school kids in here. Uh, probably like twelve to three. Figure. Uh, yeah, let's go try that. Might be enough. We will have to see. Oh, it's just, I mean, it's probably not the Death Star anymore, huh? Because I think that mod got nuked. It's a damn shame. This is hilarious. I, I just oh, I forgot to turn that off. It was so funny. Wait, why did I go back in here at 6? That doesn't make any sense. It is impressive that they have an actual education system and everything. When you, when you look past just the... The whole, you know, xenophobic, murderous thing. They're, they're actually doing pretty well for themselves. Out of all, all, all the people out here, I mean, they have their own nice kind of fenced compound. They have a, a lot of old technology. They're doing all right. Is it a weekend? Crap. Oh, there's still heat. And maybe she's just in here on Sundays. All right. Let's try waiting until Monday. I apologize, but I, I don't want to do Jack's stupid bullshit with the... It's so dumb. We would just pass, like, love letters in between them and, and tell her that he, he stared at her through binoculars or something. He's, now that's a real turn-on. It's so dumb. Alrighty. Come on. Hi. How are you today? Oh, yes, someone else. This is mission control, ready for liftoff. What's your 5x5? Five five? Uh, 
I bet when you get bigger, you'll be able to fly your own plane, huh? Ah, oh, there are a lot of you women fly planes will. around here. I'm almost old no enough to find the shit. VR Sims. That'll be awesome. Yeah, the Sims do sound pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of okay. lame how they just they just tease you with that, and they go, oh, "No, huh? You can't use those." Put up your dukes. I'm the red brick. Kid. The red brick. <laughs> I forgot you could do that. <laughs> Hey kid, you want some mind-altering drugs? You know, that, that's, have some steroids. That's great. Really, that, that's that's just great for you. <laughs> Whoa, no way! I'm fighting with the mighty red brick. You better believe it. I'll knock your block off. Yeah, I'm sure you will. I have to go now. Don't get blown up. That's <laughs> why these games are just great. There's just so much horrible dark humor in these games, and it's so fantastic. Yeah, here, have some steroids. You'll do great, kid. Really, it's so great. All right, let's go get the friggin' B-29. You have done well to earn the trust of my people, child. Yep. I have to think I've done everything I can to help out. I believe the time has come for you to show your value in full. The people have come to accept having you around. Find Loyal and ask him about our people's fondest dream. He will tell you what to do so next. Why is she so circumspect about it? I, I mean, well, I was just gonna tell you anyways. I guess she just doesn't want to talk to you when she has to, which you know, could actually make sense. Because they, they are very xenophobic. Even the ones who aren't <coughs> total assholes are still quite xenophobic. And I apologize, I've been talking very quietly again, haven't I? I really need to remember to just be louder on mic, but... I don't know, I'm just not very loud on mic. I guess I'm not a... Generally, not a super loud person, unless I am very agitated about something, whether in a good or a bad way. As I'm sure you guys have no doubt noticed. But anyways, yeah, sorry for that. I'm just habitually quiet. It's a problem. All right, uh, where's Loyal? He's dicking around in here somewhere, I'm sure. It's possible to tell who's in the NPCs and who's just my entourage. Oh, he's probably not up yet, actually, lazy asshole. Yep, there we go. Oh, hey. you're, fuck you, I don't need you. That was a bit harsh of me, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, there he is. Got him. Pearl sent word saying it's all right to tell you about yeah, the Yeah, they have a really creepy the reverence for this bomber. You know, they're great plan to just carpet bomb everything. <laughs> Lady in the water, what's that? It does sound very creepy. A long time ago, long before the war that killed just about everything that ever lived, a bomber crashed not far from here. A bomber was a flying contraption that could drop explosives down on yep, anything. Yep, and these proved. guys, you know, basically masturbate anyway, to that idea on. on a daily basis. This bomber crashed it's kind down of horrifying. in Lake Mead, pretty damn near intact. When we got to Nellis, see, I found this article in a magazine all about it. There was another B-29 around here, part of a museum. Couldn't fly, but had a lot of spare parts, see? Get where I'm going? Yep. Since I was a young man... I've dreamed of raising that lady from the lake. So you can carpet bomb everything is what they're life. leaving out here. What do you say? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, where's the bomber located? It's at the bottom of Lake Mead. I'll mark its location on your Pip Boy map. How expect you raise it? How do you expect to raise a bomber from the bottom of the lake to put explosives on the wing or something? Simple. Or, or ballast. Attach deployable dollar, right? ballast to the plane and float it on up. Here is a remote detonator. Once the ballast is attached to the plane, just hit the detonator from the shore and let buoyancy handle the rest. If it's so simple, why haven't you done it? Maybe you don't understand. All oh, right, I forget. Has they don't ever one leave. Us, I forgot. Not one rather. to set a foot outside Nellis in over 50 years. You come along with your knowledge of the outside, and it seems the time's come to raise the lady after all. Very sheltered existence. <laughs> all right, I'm game. Good. Here's the deployable ballast. Go find so the like plane, how they use attach the ballast, and hit the button. Now. Uh, any ideas? You just talk to Jack. Might try holding <laughs> your breath. Wise ass. If that doesn't sound good enough, talk to Jack. He was working on a rebreather. And you can just sign. You have, can either find parts for him, or you can just sign to check your way through it and be fine, which is my vastly preferred option. So you're the outsider. Lived your whole life out there, huh? Wow. Yep. I always thought you savages probably spoke a different language. Douchebag with his but I hear you sound like us. back blonde hair, asshole. Well, they'll say you can help me breathe underwater. Also, I just need some parts from a savage. pressure cooker to create a hermetic seal. Bullet necklace. 
will look like an ass. Science 45, corn silk, rubber hose, and removable adhesive would make a good hermetic seal, apparently. I really have no idea if that's true. That's a brilliant idea. I can put that together right now. Here you go. That was remarkably fast. Been holding out on me. Time for me to go. Later. Later. Or the words of the uh, immortal Vaughn from Community. Late! Alright, so do I have a fast travel thing anywhere near here I can go to? Ah, balls. I'm gonna run southeast from here. Also, don't know if you, any of you have seen the trailer for Iron Sky, which is just this ridiculous movie that's being made about like space Nazis invading or something. It's 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 probably going to be terrible, but it looks it, there's potential there. It, it looks pretty hilarious, so I would definitely recommend you all check out the trailer for it if you haven't already seen it. Again, it'll probably be just awful, but if it's not, it has potential to just be an absolutely phenomenal movie. Oop, forgot I was still online. Oh well. Uh, if someone messages me, I'll swap off. I, I always do that. I either forget to take myself offline, or I, I leave myself offline for days, and just, like, by accident. It's kind of unfortunate. Quick save. I've really gotten out of the habit of quick saving just rapidly and often. So, fuck, what the fuck is that? Well, that's something added by a monster mod that I have not seen before. And again, uh, anything that you don't recognize will have been added by Monster Mod. Like this huge thing. Big Mommy Casador, huh? Hey! Which means there's probably more fucking. Oh, fire geckos. Oh, they got this. That's why I have them around. Shit! Shit balls! Fucking. How many of them are there? Oh my god. No. Stay the fuck away from me. Yeah, suck it, asshole. Do not fucking. God, these things. The fucking. It's the worst. Asshole. God, they're, they're so bad. Just. Ugh. Do I, have to, I don't think this makes me pick up the case in, right? I have this mod that makes you actually recollect the, uh, shit. These ammo for, uh, laser weapons when you drop it. I forget which one exactly it is, but I don't think I have it quite right now. Also, I think Monster Mine is reskinning these Cazadors because they look really good. And I remember the normal ones being blue. So, yeah. If you're wondering why they look different, if in fact they are different, probably Monster Mod or maybe even Project Nevada reskinning them, but I think it would probably be Monster Mod. There's the lake, there's the dock we have to go to right down there. And you get a chasm. Oh wow, is that like a nest? Can I blow this up? Damn. Well, I would explain why this whole area is filled with them. And they are just awful enemies. Not in like poorly designed, awful, and just like the sense of. Holy shit, what is that? Awful in the sense of like, Jesus Christ, what am I fighting? Yeah? Come on! What the fuck are these hey. things? So are these worse or better than Cazadors? They seem to be dying more easily. Got your back. But I am poisoned. Thank you, Veronica. I do need to get her pushy. I've been very remiss in not getting that for her. Those slightly less damage of the ballistic fist, but the knockdown is very nice, and I didn't give her that dead money perk too, because once you combine that with the dead money perk, I think it stacks. Uh she has like a crazy knockdown rate. So, stim pack, poison is worn off, thankfully. <laughs> so, I'm going to do another playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade soon. I don't think I'll do that as a video, at least not yet. I, I do hope to do that eventually, but that is a phenomenal game. If you've never played Bloodlines, I highly recommend it. One of the best RPGs I've ever played. One of the best games, period, but... The writing for that is amazing. I'm very excited because the guy who did that is actually working on uh, this, this zombie RPG type thing that sounds very cool. So I should shoot him in the head at this point. And 
he's just an awesome writer. Like the, the writing for Bloodlines and the characters in that game are just nothing short of phenomenal. So Yeah, pretty much live in that. Holy fuck, that's another one of those things. Basically live in vats against these things just because they're such pains in the ass. It's so fast and I'm not good at aiming in this game. Like, I don't know what it is, but I'm just not good at aiming in this. Alright, so yeah, that's all the Cazador is dealt with. Uh, now we just need to pop on the rebreather, go down to the bottom of the lake. Ooh, dang, nice. Okay, uh, barter, sneak, you know, let's put a barter, I don't really care about sneak. I don't really sneak much in these games. Uh, good for a bachelor. Uh, <laughs> nope, earned experience, Nike, you're gonna hit the, the cap anyways. Voracious reader, nah. Uh, I would get explored if this wasn't a let's play, but since I'm not, or since this is a let's play, I'm not gonna get it now. I'll probably get it for dicking around on this character after I'm done with the main quest, but computer was useless. Tag skill, no. Meltdown, don't want it. Uh, chem resistant implants. I feel like I've gone through most of these already. It's the problem with doing one every level, you get so many. That could be cool, actually. Hmm. Well, you know, I'll do that because we're going to be fighting Legion a lot, so. Might as well sometime to equip the rebreather and dive on in. And I think once we float the bomber, I'm going to stop for today. Because we're getting pretty close. Did I already hit you? The rebreather. So I think we're getting pretty close to uh, 30 minutes. We haven't already passed it. And I know people wanted to see. Oh, it's the demon explosion thing. I just in the water for wanted to see longer videos, but I don't want to run on for too long, so yeah, we're getting real close, so as soon as I close this thing, which should not be too long, this must be kind of a pain if you don't have the rebreather, I mean, I, you might, I mentioned you need to dive straight down, back up, brings to mind your unfortunate, you know, terrifying memories of having to do that in Minecraft to try and recover stuff that it was at the bottom of the ocean, it's actually quite horrifying, I don't know if you've ever had to do that, but rushing against the, uh, the heirloom of Minecraft can be quite... Oh, Jesus Christ, when you come from JD. Yeah, rushing against the heirloom of Minecraft can be quite a challenge. Not even quite a challenge, but it can just be very, very, very unnerving. So, uh, so I do need to go get the implants, right, or the uh, static implants, because I haven't done that. At least I don't think I've got any. Uh, now I just go back up to the surface. Oh, which is that way, so we're gonna blow it. And then call it <laughs> Watching the stars above. Willow is quite fantastic. I don't know why there's floating skeletons. Uh, that's mildly alarming. Uh, we're just gonna move along and not call attention to that. I think there's probably some kind of unfortunate explanation for why that's there. <laughs> Alright, let's use the detonator. Oh my god, I thought it was a mine for a second. Jesus Christ, almost had a heart attack. Alright, let's photos a bomber. Not very good at that, I apologize. Alrighty, so we are going to end it here for today. This has been part 70 of my Fall New Vegas Let's Play. Uh, when we get back, we're done with the Boomer's Quest, so I can go on to the next stage, which I think is... Uh, I have to deal with the Brotherhood, I know, and there's one or two other things I have to do. And then we're pretty close to the... Uh, oh, you have to get the Platinum Chip. I can just, I won't be, I'm just going to kill the whole fort, so... Yeah, we're getting up there. Uh, and... The point is to just kind of go through the main quest, and what I'll probably do actually is, uh, I'll probably, uh, maybe just go through the main quest, I'll just finish rushing through the main quest, and then just start doing some, with the characters, you know, some side quests, and some, 
like the Courier's Mile and stuff like that a afterwards. I know the main quest is not the most exciting, so I want to just kind of get finished with that, and then I can do other fun stuff with the character, uh, and kind of in the same playthrough, and just kind of mess around and do you know, entertaining things. So yeah, this has been part 70 of my Phone in Vegas Let's Play. As always, thanks for watching. This is the Tuninator, and I'll see you all later.